YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at probably one of the coolest guns we've had here on the channel. I'm talking about the Noveski Space Invader chambered in nine millimeter. As always, I like to tell you all how I go about getting these guns in for review. You guys might remember my buddy Matty, who I always used to tag at hockey games on Instagram back when we could go to all the games. Um, he reached out a couple of months back in regards to picking up a high-end 9mm PCC sub gun. So just joking around, I told him that if you really want to get something Gucci, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, um, check out the Nobeski Space Invader. Well, fast forward a couple months and Matty sends me a picture of his new Nobeski Space Invader and says, come by and use it in one of your videos if you'd like. So of course I jumped on the opportunity and here we are. Now, other than the specs and range footage, I wanna make sure that I address a couple of questions in this review. Um, the first being, is this gun worth the $2,550 price point? Um, the second being, what purpose would this gun serve if you owned it? And the third, uh, does this gun live up to all the hype surrounding it? Um, with that being said, let's start with the specs. The Noveski Space Invader is a 9mm pistol caliber carbine that has features of both the Honey Badger from Q and the MP5 from H&K. I'm sure from that comment alone, you're probably thinking, holy crap, this thing is going to be pricey. So I'm going to tell you right now, yes, this thing is expensive. The Space Invader is built on Nobeski's precision machine billet receiver made of 7075 T6 aluminum with a hard coat type three anodizing and then Cerakoted in black. The upper receiver is also made from 7075 T6 aluminum and has an anti-rotation interface with their six and a quarter inch NHR M-Lock handguard. You'll notice the proprietary notches in the receiver set to accept the QPDW style brace. I've heard some rumors of SB Tactical possibly putting out a version of this brace that doesn't require this particular receiver set. However, that has not been confirmed, so don't quote me on that one. Uh, me personally though, I am hoping this is true as the Q brace is definitely the way you'd wanna go when building your own nine millimeter uh, AR9 or a PCC subgun loadout. Um, next up is the Geisley Super MCX SSA trigger, which I have to tell you is the best nine millimeter trigger I've used to date in a PCC setup. Um, when we get to the range footage, you'll see why. The Space Invader will also come with a Geisley airborne charging handle with Nobeski markings on it. Um, you'll find ambidextrous controls like these Magpul 60 degree safety selectors, left and right side bolt releases, and both a standard magazine release as well as a paddle style mag release, which is just really cool in my opinion, um, especially for lefties like our buddy Eric. Um, it will also come with Magpul Pro backup irons, um, a Magpul K grip, and lastly, their stainless steel eight and a half inch nine millimeter barrel with machine slash integrated three lug adapter and a one and a 12 right hand twist. Um, when I show you the grouping from our 25 yard zero, you'll see why the Noveski name is praised so highly in regards to their barrels. Uh, matter of fact, let's move on to the range footage. So I showed the guys in the shop um, this gun before scheduling this range day. Once they saw it, they all wanted to be part of this video. So Eric, Guy, Fitz, and I, we all headed out to our shooting spot in the desert. Uh, I mounted up my EOTech EXPS2 with a Unity Tactical Fast riser. Um, with this being such a compact, small platform, I wanted my optic to sit higher so that we all could get a nice cheek weld when shooting it. I have to say this combo worked out perfectly. Um, so as you can see here, I got us a quick 25 yard zero using a bag off of the back of my truck. Um, and I was shocked at how tight the grouping was. We were using 147 grain nine millimeter since we'll be shooting it suppressed. Uh, and yeah, this photo speaks for itself. As you can see, each grouping as we made adjustments had all rounds touching every time. Um, this is definitely one of the most accurate guns I've shot. I shot the guys off with a fun steel challenge style stage using six inch plates with a uh, staked in the ground and a double helix mag star from Red Stitch Targets. Our new guy Fitz, he's not really familiar with shooting AR platforms, so I wanted to make sure we set up a fun style range day for all different skill levels. Um, we all took turns running this drill for time. Needless to say, it was a lot of fun and the Space Invader performed very well. Stand by. or 1593 21 shots 1593 that's the time to beat time 
Time is 19.17. Point in. Time. 28.81. Speak up. 28.81. From there, we ran some build drills for time because who doesn't like dropping six rounds on a mini A-zone steel target as fast as they can? Two ten, one miss. Copy. One point eight five. One minute. Woo! That was clean. One point one seven. First shot. Point four four. One one four. First shot. Point four. Stand by. Five rounds. Nine three with a miss. Stand by. One one four again, first shot, three five. Um, and lastly, we did some shooting on the move, um, which was very easy using this optic riser combo. Um, so like I said before guys, the Space Invader comes with ambi controls making reloads and manipulations easy for righties and lefties. I also mentioned the integrated tri-lug adapter on the barrel. Um, this is something I'm a huge fan of as I like to run my rugged Obsidian 9 suppressor. Uh, for this video though, I ran it in the K configuration or the short configuration and it worked out great. It's probably not hearing safe, but definitely manageable if you need to use this gun without hearing protection. I'm happy to report that the range day was a success uh, and the Noveski Space Invader lived up to its name. So now let's go back to those three questions from before. Um, is it worth the $2,550 price tag? Um, well, this is one of the most accurate guns I've shot. Um, I spent a lot of money on other style nine millimeter PCC builds trying to get something like this. Uh, however, I wasn't successful. I've gotten close with a couple of builds, but I haven't been able to get the same accuracy and the aesthetic out of my similar build. I'm, I'm typically a do-it-yourselfer kind of guy, but in this case, if you want something like the Nobesky Space Invader, I'm going to tell you just to pony up the two and a half racks and buy one instead. Next question, what purpose would this gun serve? Uh, well, for me, it would definitely be a trunk gun or a backpack or a truck gun. Um, I would definitely like to have this with me since it's compact. And also being a quasi AR platform, I'm familiar with the controls and nine millimeter is readily easy to find. So definitely a plus there as well. Um, I remember back in my LE days seeing some departments in the country, they let their motor guys, the guys on motorcycles, they let them rock MP5s in their saddlebags. Um, this being similar in size to an MP5, I definitely think this would be good for motor units to have um, with them uh, for duty as well. Now lastly, does this gun live up to the hype surrounding it? Uh, well, let's see, from what we gathered from our review, for me, it's one of the most accurate guns I've shot. Um, it looks freaking awesome. It was easy to use from a new shooter to an experienced one, and it's backed by the Noveski name. So I'd say yes, it does live up to the hype. Um, if you don't agree, I would tell you to get your hands on one and shoot it for sure, and also look at the fact that you can't find them in stock anywhere. So that does tell you that they're selling like hotcakes. Um, now, some things I do want to mention, we ran a little over a thousand rounds through this gun during the range trip. Uh, I'm happy to say that the only malfunctions we experienced were when using the Noveski branded metal form magazine.
Only with this Noveski mag do we get these double feeds. Or the stamped Noveski mag, which is probably just a standard Colt mag. Luckily, I had five additional ASC 9mm Colt mags that work flawlessly, and they're only $20 each. So if you pick up one of these Noveski Space Invaders, make sure to get additional mags um, that are not the same brand as the one it comes with, because that's the one that kept giving us problems. Um, another thing worth noting is that the gun did great when suppressed, and I didn't notice any excessive heat from the handguard um, that required me to put gloves on. Uh, especially since the day we went out to film this, it was the second hottest day of the year with temperatures reaching all the way up to 117 degrees. Um, it was actually like 109 when we were finished shooting at about 6 p.m. and we started heading back home. Lastly, I did want to note that the rail that it comes with, um, it's got a Picatinny section on the bottom instead of just straight M-lock. Um, for me, I prefer M-lock so that I could put some type of hand stop there with a more minimal look. I do understand that they make Picatinny hand stops, however, they just look bulkier in my opinion and I prefer the smooth finish of the M-lock. Well guys, that's going to do it for our review of the Nobeski Space Invader 9mm. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. Um, I definitely think that I'll need to pick one of these up for myself in the near future. Or talk to my buddy Matty into letting me buy this off of him. Um, big shout out to Guy, Fitz, and Eric for coming out to the desert with me to film this in the Vegas heat. Um, we definitely could not have gotten this video done without you guys, so I appreciate it. Um, guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, please check out our Patreon link down below. Patreon members get first access to new content, new gear, special discounts, and giveaways. Um, they're a big reason why we can continue to create the content that we do for everybody. So thanks again for watching guys, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Why didn't you shoot the target in the middle? So you just got six oh, penalties. Fuck. I was supposed to, okay. I thought you should, <laughs> Bro, you only got two hits. <laughs> what happened? It might have been three. How many did you shoot, Eric? I shot seven. Yeah. <laughs> 1.71. All right, Fitz, being the first time you've run pretty much an AR platform, but also a PCC, meaning pistol caliber carbine, what do you think of the Noveski Space Invader? Uh. I think it's pretty sick. <laughs> you gonna buy one? Uh, gonna have to work a little bit more overtime at QVO, but yeah. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> you got, you got to, you got to hit the safety, bro. I do. What happened? You got the safety. What happened, bro? What happened? Hey, okay, 28. As in almost 30 seconds. Yep. What do you think of the gun, though? Sick. Well, definitely can't use that on YouTube now. Freaking sick. <laughs>